Hello, in this lesson, I want you to find the trigonometric ratios using right triangles and use those ratios to find angle measures in a right triangle. Some vocabulary you're going to come across is trigonometry, trig ratio, sine, cosine, tangent, and the inverse sine, inverse cosine, and inverse tangent. First off, when we talk about a right triangle, if you have two right triangles and you know one of the acute angles, well, then you know every other triangle is going to be similar to that by angle angle. That's what we're going to call trig ratios because we're looking at trig just means right triangle. So triangle ratios in a right triangle. Also, as a review, all the way back from unit one, remember when you name a line, you can name a line using two capital letters. So I could call the hypotenuse of this cap, uh, line AB or I could use it a lowercase letter. So I'm going to call the hypotenuse lowercase c. This would be lowercase a, because it's across from angle a, and across from angle b, that would be lowercase b. When I look at my triangle here, we have to understand, I'm going to use some vocabulary words we have to become familiar with. My two acute angles are my ones that aren't right. So angle a and angle b. Now your hypotenuse is always going to be C. Doesn't matter which angle we're talking about. However, the opposite adjacent sides, that will, that's going to change. So if I look at angle A, opposite of angle A is side A. And then adjacent to angle A means next to. Now the hypotenuse cannot be your adjacent side. So that's why I filled in the hypotenuse first. So what's next to angle A is side B. Then if I look at angle B, What's opposite angle of B? Well, that's side B. And what's adjacent to angle B? Well, it'll be side A because it's next to. 